Hello and welcome back everybody to another 10 Shadow video. Today we are in lesson 7 in this IFR series from FS Academy. This lesson consists of learning a little bit about NDB approaches. So I've never flown one of these before, so let's jump in. we're using the Southampton NDB for runway 20. Looking at the charts, there are two outbound legs. Small Cessnas like this belong in category A, so our outbound leg will be 039. We're tracking to the Southampton NDB now, approaching from the north. Ensure that the Southampton NDB is tuned, identified and displayed. The frequency is 391.5, which is tuned in the ADF menu. Got it. If they're not already displayed, click PFD and DME to display the DME distance from Southampton VOR and set bearing 2 to the ADF to show the ADF needle. Yep. We're only using the Southampton VOR for the DME distance. Disregard any indications on the CDI as we're navigating using the NDB needle only. Okay. To arrive at a beacon and commence the approach straight away, you must arrive already aligned within 30 degrees of the outbound course. Our outbound is 039. This means we'll need to perform a hold entry to align ourselves. As we see on the chart, the holding inbound leg is on 020. Imagining 020 is straight up, arriving from the north puts us to the top left, meaning we'll need to make a teardrop entry. A teardrop entry means we'll fly to the NDB, leave on the hold outbound course minus 30 degrees for one minute before turning right towards the NDB again. I'll talk you through it as we go. For now, track to Echo Alpha Sierra NDB at 3000 feet. All right, so we'll follow the blue. Trying to keep 3000 feet. So one, one major issue I have with these uh, IFR um, videos is, or these lessons is, uh, especially when they put you in the air. I mean, if you have to like fight the aircraft cause it, it just wants to basically, you know, he's like handing it over to you uh, without touching the, you know, having your hand on the, the yoke or anything. And it just dive bombs and it's a, it's a mess. Uh, maybe they should start these in like an autopilot hold or something and then say, hey, go ahead and disable autopilot and do X, Y, Z. I think that would be better. So it's really important to make sure we have the charts for these. So, all right, so okay, I guess we're getting we're close. Okay, we're arriving at Southampton NDB. Yep. The holding outbound course is 200. Minus 30 gives us 170. So fly a heading of 170 for one minute. All right. Made note of my time, but he, he'll tell us as well. It's a good looking morning here. That's one minute elapsed to make a right hand turn to Southampton NDB. Okay, we're making our right hand turn. Try not to lose any altitude here. Or gain. All right, start rolling out. Okay, uh, I think we did it, maybe. And now we're back at Southampton NDB, leave on a course of 039. 
At the NDB, you can begin a slow descent to altitude 1,800 feet. Golf Alpha Charlie cleared for the NDB approach, runway 20, reports at 3 miles. Continue on the approach outbound course of 039 until the DME reads 7.2. Then make a left turn to intercept 206 inbound. About 6 miles to go, we'll start slowing down and descend into 1,800 feet. Here's 7.2 DME, so turn left to intercept the 206 course inbound to the runway. All right, here we go. interception we can push the head to move the NDB needle onto our 206 approach course. As you turn, if the ADF needle is staying to the right of 206, keep your heading to the right of the needle to push it over. If you see the needle left of 206, continue your turn and fly a heading to the left of the needle, pushing it back. Make sure to stay above 1,800 feet until we reach 5.2 DME, which is our final approach fix. Once we reach 5.2, leave 1,800 feet at 3.1 degrees. To work out 3 degree descent, remember the ground speed times 5. So flying at 100 knots, descend at a VS of 500 feet per minute, plus a small amount to make up for the point here we are at 5.2 DME, so begin your descent now. I'll give you some check altitudes on the way down. Okay, here we go. Lowering speed bits and get, hopefully get close to that flaps here. All right, so we're just gonna take flaps one. Looks good on the pappies, I believe, from here. Looks like two and two. Four miles to go. Altitude should be 1,410 feet. If not, make small corrections. The minimum descent altitude for this approach is 540 feet. Let me trim a little bit. All right, so we'll add a second notch of flaps. All right, we'll wait. Just a little bit longer before we drop the third. And final. All right, so it looks like I'm a little low, so we'll try to slow our rate of descent. There we go. Three miles, 1,080 feet. Okay. This approach is also slightly offset. The runway course is 200. Golf Alpha Charlie cleared to land, runway 20, wind 260 at 6. A little high. We approach our MDA at 540. We are visual. You cleared to land for a full stop landing on runway 20. All right, cleared to land. Still just a tad high. I have a feel, I have to trim it up a little bit because I feel like I'm going to... Okay, just that. Alright. 
back on glide path. Seems like I'm high on one side, but not the other. I don't know. Alrighty, here we go. Throttle back. Alright. Okay, we are down. Oh. All right, let's go to full stop here and see what he has to say. So now we've taken a look at VOR and NDB approaches. Press escape to exit. Well, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. That was NDB approaches and I'll catch you on the next one.